salutations to you all. I am welcoming you for the birth of a miracle. A birth of the miracle within the human body. Yes, it is possible to experience the greatest miracle of life. And in this video, uh, I'm going to teach you a technical meditation, a dynamic technical meditation. And it is through this that it is possible to experience the greatest miracle of life. Of course, that has to be practiced regularly under the guidance of the master. And we are uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you uh, how by practicing 40 minutes of uh, the river therapy, which consists of four stages to experience the greatest blessing of life. Uh, this is a very great adventure, the greatest one that the human mind is capable of undertaking. So join me in this greatest and unique adventure into the science of meditation. The river therapy is a very unique type of, of meditation, very powerful also. It consists of four stages. The first stage, you will be required to breathe in rapidly in and out. It's just like a bastika in yoga, but it's a bit more chaotic. For example, you do like this. You are going to do like this for 10 minutes. 10 minutes of rapid breathing in and out, where you will have to put all your interest, all your might and all your energy. 10 minutes, you are going to breathe madly. You don't need to, to adopt any fixed posture. You can stand up, you can sit down, but the breathing should be constant rapidly for 10 minutes. Of course, if you feel some pain, you can stop, and then you restart. So that will be for the first stage, which will uh, help you to uh, throw out as much toxins and as possible and to churn out your being to bring to the surface all the suppressed energies, suppressed emotion, all the conditionings and so many rubbish that you have collected since uh, over the years. The second stage consists in expression. After you have breathed in rapidly, in and out for 10 minutes, your mind, your body and your heart has been churned out. It has triggered all the dormant forces. So you are going to express yourself, uh, for example, by weeping, crying, dancing, jogging, do any movement, doing gestures, doing gibberish. It will be a catharsis mm? that will claim your body, your mind and your heart. That's something very important. The second stage is extremely important. So you will be required to express your emotion, anything. Just, you have to go back to for 10 minutes. You will breathe slowly. After you have tired yourself by deep and rapid breathing, after you have expressed yourself, you have thrown out all the toxins and rubbish from inside, you're going to relax your breathing. You're going to breathe silently through your nostrils in the following manner. You're going to do that for some 8 or 10 minutes until your breath subsides. You start breathing through your nostrils and slowly and slowly you subside your breath until it stops completely. That will be for the 
third stage. stage you simply lie down and become as if a log of wood you are not going to make any movement simply lie down and relax totally completely let your body be fully relaxed don't make any movement no technique nothing just simply be a mere witness your body is completely still you die to your old self you die to your future and you be simply a witnessing consciousness you stay in that state for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you come back to your body slowly, simply be conscious, breathe slowly, and slowly and slowly you move your fingers, your toes, and without making any brisk movement, you get up, you stand on your feet, and then you relax, you do some movement, very light movement, you express yourself, you smile, you do some very move, light movement like in Tai Chi, and then you raise your arm up, you express your gratitude towards nature, and then it's finished. My name is Maria Chiara, Mary. Um, I'm from Italy, but I've been living here in London uh, for four years. Um, this is my first um, experience with meditation, and um, it was really, really nice to be here. I felt that the atmosphere was really good from the very beginning. I felt comfortable. Um, the master was really, really good and really clear um, in explaining um, what we were going to do. And um, um, the first part of the meditation was quite um, intense and a bit, just a bit difficult. Uh, we had to breathe really intensively and, um, um, and really fast. And I'm not used to that, but that uh, actually helped me to uh, let out all the um, uh, worries and bad things that we carry um, every day and um, and then uh, for the other parts of the meditation I experienced um, I saw a lot of uh, a lot of things uh, I saw myself being happy um, I saw myself when I was little and uh, I felt like I was bringing back the little me uh, when I was happy, when I didn't have any worry and when I was free to just jump and be myself and um, uh, yeah I'm, I'm feeling very good and I would totally uh, come back. 